while I've been a builder pretty much all my working life. Proud to have been part of a small family run business as well for most of that time. Got a good reputation behind us. People still want craftsmanship, you know, they want the details to matter, and a tradesperson who knows what they're talking about. Us, we just need more hours in the day. But seriously, the tools to make it happen, that helps. Usually start work at 7.30 in the morning, go on site before the lads. To be honest, I can do without the distraction. Radio, bit of background music, and I'm happy. I do always have the van with me, but I like to keep things on the job so I can pick them up the next day, you know, get on quick. But the cordless drill, no, don't leave that anywhere. Dad gave me a load of his tools when I started out. A lot of them were Stanley. Come to think of it, I'd probably still have most of them. These days, Stanley do a lot more than knives and tapes, don't they? So, choosing the power tools, well, it's a bit of a no-brainer. It feels solid, well-built, a bit like someone who actually thought it through. Any builder will tell you, running out of power in a job is a nightmare. Just swapping batteries between tools is perfect. Don't waste any time. If you do get low, the charge is really quick. Just time to grab a brew, you're back in business. <music> Customers rely on us, so you have to know that you can trust the kit not to let you down. The guarantee these guys provide is really worth having, especially if you're a builder like me. Just gives you, you know, peace of mind really. The boss says we have to deliver first class service every time and he's not wrong because you're only as good as your last job and that depends on what you've got to work with. So I say Dave, don't scrimp on the tools mate and keep your hands off my favourite drill. When it's time to clock off at the end of the day it's all about knowing we've done things right, done a job the very best we can.